Well, good morning. It is June 7th. This is day 31 on the trail for me. So we had uh, some rain yesterday in the evening, off and on for a few hours. But no real bad storm came through. And uh, we got out and we were on the trail a little after six. Uh, so far it hasn't been too bad. Um, looks like we're gonna have a nice day today. It's gonna clear up some. That's a nice, uh... ooh, hold on. Here's the trail right now. It's just sort of a stone uh, walkway. <laughs> this one built up and uh, between these two little ridges. That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, it hasn't been too bad so far today. Um, and the sun's gonna be out, it's gonna clear things up. Shouldn't be as humid as it was yesterday. We've been in some boggy areas though, and mosquitoes have been bad so far. I've had to stop and put on some uh, repellent. It seems to be working all right. I think our plan for today is about 15.8 miles, I want to say, somewhere around there. That puts us near a small town. And <laughs> there's a pizza place and deli in town, just half mile off the trail, that lets uh, through hikers <laughs> pitch their tents and in the back overnight. So we may do that. We may stop there, pitch the tent, the hammock for bourbon, and uh, and then uh, grab something to eat. We'll see. Depends on how we're doing. If there's something else nearby, a little further, we might do that because we just resupplied yesterday, so we've got a lot of food to eat. You know, food, <laughs> carrying food, it's heavy. So, sometimes you, you want to eat what you got rather than, uh, than have, uh, I mean, town food is always better, but sometimes you want to lighten your load. Um, I think there's going to be a few sites later on today. Uh, right now we're just sort of in the middle of forest. Um... <laughs> As always, if I see something interesting, I'll grab a pic or some video. And here's what the trail looks like right now. And we get a little bit of a view after a climb. Unfortunately, it's not facing the lake. <laughs> At the top of a brief climb, we get another nice view. view. It's called the Hosner Mountain View. I don't know if I'm on Hosner Mountain or if I can see Hosner Mountain. And then there's a mountain out there in a bit. Looks like some uh, story 
storage facilities or warehouses, I guess. And there's a little town down there. Nice view. Well, not a very exciting backdrop tonight. Uh, it's some rain came through and uh, I'm just sort of hunkered down in my tent and that's protecting me well. So I'm staying dry. The temperature dropped a little bit, so I've got my, my hoodie on and I'm doing okay. Uh, so we made it through the 15.8 trail miles that we were expecting and then did a half mile road walk into a town that is appropriately named, I believe it's called Stormville. Uh, and uh, we are tenting behind a pizzeria. <laughs> uh, this place is called uh, Corrado's Pizzeria and Gelateria. And uh, they let hikers uh, camp out in their backyard. They've got this uh, pretty nice wide open grassy area. Uh, and so I'm tenting. They even had a couple of trees that were appropriately spaced for uh, Bourbon's hammock. So that worked out well. And uh, we went in and uh, got some, uh, an excellent pizza. We got their, uh, what it was called, uh, chicken bacon ranch pizza. And that worked out very well. And while we were there, I guess, uh, uh, the cook made uh, a chicken parmesan sandwich that they shouldn't have, and so they just gave us a sandwich while we were sitting there waiting for the pizza. So that worked out, and and then there's a deli next door. I think they it's by the same owners, and the deli next door had uh, had uh, some beers, and so had a beer, brought it over, and had some pizza and beer and uh, it, was a, it was a good uh, good meal and we got a nice space here for the evening and uh, we'll be ready to kick it off again tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're planning to do tomorrow. We've been talking about there's a couple of options. Um, we'll have to see how, how it goes, how our feet are handling uh, and, uh, and uh, what we need to do. I need to get into Kent. So tomorrow will be our last full day in New York, no matter what. Um, but I need to get into Kent, Connecticut, because they've got an outfitter. Uh, I'm having issues with my hiking poles, and if hopefully they can repair them there. And if not, uh, I'm just might just end up buying a new set because uh, I need my hiking poles to uh, <laughs> to construct my tent. My tent requires the hiking pole, so I, I, I need them to work well, and uh, I'm having some issues. So, one way or another, I've got to get into Kent, Connecticut, and that's just, it'll be a short walk off the trail, um, but uh, I'm hoping we're going to get there on Sunday. It's about 33 miles, um, so we're going to see if we're going to do it, you know, like a 20 and a 13, or, uh, or break it up differently. We'll have to see how it goes. We had planned to be in Kent, I think the same day. The issue is I, we need to get in a little earlier to make sure that we're, you know, we get there for when the outfitter's open. That's the issue. We'll figure it out. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it's been, it was a pretty good day. And um, just, you know, we have this rain at the end and uh, it should be again clear tomorrow and I'll um, burn off the water and uh, hopefully it won't be too humid again. So again, uh, big thanks to Corrado's Pizzeria uh, for putting us up for the night. Uh, and um, yeah, as always, if you stuck through to the end, I appreciate it. And I will see you again tomorrow on the trail.